What's up everybody, this is Tyler here with Savvy Hut Tutorials. Today we will quickly be talking about how to pan your instruments from the left speaker to the right speaker to the center and utilizing that stereo sound effect that you often hear in a lot of music. For those of you who are not quite familiar with how things are typically balanced, this type of effect or this feature is very important when you're trying to balance out your instruments. You don't want everything to be completely centered. You want it to be very dynamic and utilize that stereo sound. So what I'm about to show you is a very simplified version of how to make those instruments go to the left speaker, to the right speaker, and to the center. But what you would want to do is apply this same concept to much larger tracks. So let me go ahead and click play and show you exactly what we will be creating. All right, perfect. Without further ado, let's get this tutorial started. As always, the first thing we will do is go up to File and New, start from a completely brand new project, and all I will do is add in the instruments, kick, clap, hat, and snare, which are already there. Let me go ahead and light up these notes that we want to have playing here. And let's go ahead and click play. Okay, perfect. And all we have right now is all the instruments going completely center. And if you'll notice here on the left little knobs here right next to each instrument, the arrow is pointing completely straight. So it's not going to the left speaker or the right speaker anymore or less. It's completely centered. So it's going to play both speakers at the same time with the same intensity, that kind of thing. There's zero panning going on. So let me just show you really quickly what it sounds like if I mess with this knob here. So I'll actually left click on these dots and only pick up the kick. So I'll click play. So what that did when I cranked it to the left here, that's when the instruments played on the left speaker or the kick for this example. And when I turned it to the right, that's when it only played on the right. So that's just an example of how to do each and every instrument. But if you wanted to do let's say a group of instruments, let's say the top three instruments here, you're gonna to wanna to put those on a specific insert in your mixer. Mine is already popped up, but I'll show you exactly how to pop yours up. Let's say it's not even up there at all right now. All you would need to do is left click on one of your instruments and you'll see here this little FX tab, that's gonna be your effects. So right now it's on insert one. I'll double click and now you see my mixer has popped up again. Now if I go down to clap, FL Studio will automatically put that on the second insert. So you can see here when I click on clap and left click on it, there's the two to show me it's now on the second insert. What I just wanna do for this example is bring that down to one. Now you won't typically want your entire song on one insert because any effects you add will apply to all the instruments within that insert, which is usually not what you're going for. But for this example, all I want to do is show you how to group several different instruments and pan them to the left or to the right. So now that we've got the clap here on insert one, let's also bring the hat and bring that down to insert one as well. You can see it's on insert three. That's just what FL Studio does by default. So let me just left drag that down here. So now I'm on insert one. I'll leave the snare out by itself. We'll do something a little different with that towards the end. The first thing I want to do though is bring in this pattern that I just created. Again, it's all on pattern one. If you scope to pattern two, you will not hear anything. So make sure you're on pattern one. You see the notes lit up here. I'm going to go to my track playlist and simply left click on the left bar and drag that over to the first four chunks. You can see everything kind of disappeared here. So now I want to just bring that back. I'll click on my step sequencer and now I've got it back. The next thing I'll do is double click here on my kick and I'll just bring my mixer back up. That's a very easy way to do it. And up here you see this little swoosh symbol at the top. That's going to be your pan left or right. It's by default set to the very center. So all instruments will play at equal on both speakers and you won't really be able to tell anything that's going on. There will be no dynamic changes or no, no panning going on. But if you left click and hold this down between the little double arrow or anywhere in that area, you can see a little swoosh can go left or right. You'll see it also applies down here where you can kind of take it and move it around. This is going to show you exactly a combination of 
both the volume and the pan. So you can kind of tell this up and down is going to drag the volume up and down and the pan is going to be left and right just like this. So if you want to control all three for whatever reason at the same time, this is what you could use or you could go in here and manually do it as well. I'm going to leave the volume set as it was as we're only focusing on the panning. And what I want to do is go in just here in this section, make sure your, your mouse is hovered somewhere up here, right click on that and create an automation clip. It's going to create an automation clip as long as your song. So now that I've created my automation clip, the next thing I want to do is notice that my line is in the dead center. So when I play it, nothing will have changed. It's just in the middle. Let me show you how to utilize both your ears, unless you only have one, then I'm sorry. What I'll do is go up here to my little brush tool and simply go in where the little fingers pop up. You'll see a dot appears and a straight line. I'm going to right click each of these. You see a number two here and a three, four. Those are the different measures. What I want to do is just right click, create little break points or what these are going to be. And we'll, we'll balance these out in a second as well so you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, now I've got those break points. What I want to do is take this and drag it all the way up. And both of these will go all the way. By dragging that all the way up, it's going to bring our speakers only playing on the right speaker. So if I click play, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's going to pan to the other speakers and kind of go into the middle. So that's what it's doing so far. But what we want to do is just make it play on the right speaker, then the left speaker, then the right speaker. So let me just um, get in here. I'm going to create another dot right below the dot I created here. So it's going to drop immediately and create another and I'll pull this dot down. So now it's going to play on the left speaker only. So it's going to be right speaker and immediately drop to the left speaker without any transitional panning or anything like that. So let me click play to hear what that sounds like. And you can hear that one snare. This snare right here is not being affected at all. It's going to play in the center each time if you notice that. You may not. It's very faint. We don't want, and we'll fix that in two seconds. But let's first finish up this. So I'm going to right click so it'll jump up completely right here. I'm going to drag this one up and then right click again. I'm going to need to switch these so I'll drag this down and drag that up, drag that down, drag that down. So now it's right, left, right, left completely. If I were to take this snare out, that's all you would hear is right, left, right, left. You get the idea. So with this snare, all I want to do is make that the opposite so it sounds like the music is following the snare. That's kind of what I was going for if you couldn't tell. So in order to make that happen, all I will do is select my section here with my selector tool, left click, drag that in, go back into my sequencer, and on this snare here, remember that's not affected at all by insert one. In fact, it's on insert four, which really doesn't matter. We can actually drag that down so it's on no inserts at all. Remember, it's not being affected by the mixer. I will right click on my pan and this does the same thing the mixer does except you can do it individually by each instrument. So I will right click and create automation clip. You can see it puts it right in here. I'll go up and grab my little brush tool again and do the exact same thing except we'll make it opposite. So I'll drag this down, right click, drag this up, right click again. And let me switch these a little bit here. I'm going to right click again, drag it up, right click again right click right click and drag this one up so now what it will do is it's going to play these instruments on whatever speaker it's going to start off right and the first note that these snare hits will be on the left speaker and then the notes will follow it and all play on the left and then the snare hit on the right and the notes will follow it all on the right so let me click play and we'll show you our final product here And there you have it. Again, this was a very simple way to describe a process that's very, very important for anyone out there who is creating music. When you start getting a ton of different instruments involved, you want to put those somewhere. You don't want to just keep them in the very center. Sometimes the kick is good to be in the center. If it's powerful, you want that to be in the center. You don't ever want things like hats and claps and snaps and stuff like that to be just always on the center. Just really makes the song overall kind of boring. So if you want to just add some liveliness, some dynamic sounds, 
I highly recommend you pan your instruments as well as EQ them, and that's a whole nother tutorial. All right, guys, thanks for checking in. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help me a lot. And do not forget to subscribe for weekly FL Studio tutorials. I'll see you guys next Monday. Thanks. Bye. Now let's get this thing started. First off is music. This week I bring to you a YouTube DJ group called Eminence. Their ever flowing bliss of electronic serenity keeps me coming back track after every glorious.